Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, the boys of summer are still at it, and so are we. We've got essential baseball apps. Plus, the home button fire is raging out of control, and why you may not want to activate that 3G model just yet. All that, plus we're going to cut some ropes on iPad Today. iPad Today is brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad Today. And by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to publish a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off the life of your new account, go to Squarespace.com slash iPad Today and use the offer code iPad Today. Oh. Is this where we howl? No, oh. we usually howl at the end, but... I like starting at the beginning. We can howl at the Ow. beginning and the end. We're howling at Hello. the moon. That's Sarah Lane. I'm Leo Laporte. Welcome to iPad Today. iPad Today, episode 15. It's our quinceanera, and we've got cake. <laughs> it all worked out. It's so exciting to it have is. cake. Now, it's, it's exciting to have cake, the reason especially we're because cake we're... we're is, is because you've turned 15. Two yes, days ago. Yes, it is my quinceanera. Yeah, uh, it was on nice. October 12th, Columbus so nice. Day. Uh, October 12th, and I am 15. So, so thanks, great. everyone, for the cake yeah. and the well so wishes. it's possible you could still be growing. Yeah. Good. I hope so. We can't. That camera can't go any lower. I sure it? wouldn't want to stop at 5'1". <laughs> <laughs> Who would want to? Who would want that? I'm sure I'm still going to grow a little bit. Yeah. You know, I've been talking to a lot of people who, in fact, I talked today, this morning, to somebody who just bought an iPad for the first time. And looking at the iPad numbers, we know millions of people are buying their iPads for the first time. And almost invariably, the question people ask is, what applications yeah. should I get? That's what everybody wants to know. What do I put on here? What apps do I get? And should I get, what model should I get? Do you have storage issues? Should I wait? What's coming out? There are a lot of questions that get, uh, that get asked over and over. Although... Sometimes the apps depend a little bit on what's hot at the moment. And yeah. you know what's hot right now? I know what's hot right now because I'm a San Francisco Giants fan. Playoffs, baby. Baseball. Baseball. So this is a show where we will help you choose the apps. And today we're going to help you choose baseball apps uh, just in time for the World Series. Yeah, because uh, your team may not be in the running anymore, but some teams still are. It's a, it's a very exciting couple of weeks coming up. I'm going to show you probably, I think this is probably the most expensive baseball app. It's five whole dollars. Actually, there's a more expensive. There's one, one. more expensive, mm -hmm. but this is one that uh, really a baseball fan has to have from Major League Baseball. This is the official baseball app. It's uh, called At Bat. Now I always get confused because I search for MLB and I don't find it. And yeah, then I it's MLB.com at, at Bat 2010. It's so kind of a long name. At Bat is the name of the application. At Bat. Well, there's not going to be a whole lot to look at right now because we're in the postseason. As we do this, we're right in between games. But this is the way that you can follow. Uh, your favorite games in real time. In fact, even while I'm watching the game, I will have at bat open because it shows pitch by pitch. You can listen, which is really nice, to the broadcast of the game. Uh, and you get the choice of listening to the home team announcers or the away team announcers. Now, I think in postseason you may not have as many choices because, uh, you know, the ho generally speaking, the home team doesn't doesn't get the choice. It's you know, it's one network announcer. But next. Wait till next year. There's also video. Uh, there's lots of information. There are bot scores. As you know, anybody who's into baseball is really into stats, and this is a great application. Giants Phillies coming up Saturday. I'm so excited, Sarah. 435, Lane. Leo. Yeah, so this is how I know. See, I can see it right there on the screen. I can find out. Oh, it's Tim Lincecum will be pitching, of course, for the uh, against Gyros. Against Halliday. Halliday, who had that no-hitter. Yeah, uh, again, well. Well, this is exciting. Glad you had that no-hitter holiday because it's over for it's, you. It's the last. Curtains. It's, uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I don't wanna, we don't want to belabor no, this. No, no. But uh, this is a great application. <laughs> if you don't have AtBat, you should get it. And by the way, iPhone, Android, and iPad. So there's no yeah. excuse. Perfect. Uh, one of the uh, So this is MLB. Um, and one of the apps that, that I like the most is, is another big one. It's, it's ESPN's official app. And it's called SportsCenter XL. Uh, Sports, and, score Center. Score Center XL, yes, not Sports Center. That's that's the TV show. And right. what's nice about this is it's it's very ESPN centric. But what you can do is you can I have it set to 
I've set my favorite teams. Obviously, I'm a, a Niner and a Giants fan because I'm born and raised in the Bay Area, so that's fine. Well, I guess I could have been an A's and a Raiders fan, but no, oh my no. gosh, I'm not. No way. Oh, no, Baby. no, no. Sorry, Eileen. Does this have the? Does this do kind of the pitch-by-pitch pitch thing that At-Bat does? Because this is free. Yeah, this is free. Um, and it, it, yes, it does have when when a game As you're is watching the when, game. A, when a game is live, it'll have live updating stats. Obviously, we we've got the same problem on this because there's no games right now. But it also has if you were to go to let's just say let's go to the Today tab and just get out of my teams and go to like news and video. It's also got the regular news the that you would see on ESPN.com yeah, and yeah. then just highlights. You know, if yeah. there was a, if there was a great play or something, it'll be up on here within you know as soon as it would be up online. I don't know why I'm having connectivity issues right now. It's, it's weird. probably me, my uh, my app cap. Your app cap it's has ruined killing, everything. It's killing the network, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so it's coming up, but it's just really it's just slow. slow yeah. So it gives you stats on a variety of what's going on. This isn't just baseball centric, by the way. Baseball, football, hockey, basketball. Well, that's nice because NBA season starts soon. Yeah. Uh, football season's in the middle. We're in the midst of that. And exactly. by the way, I think a lot of people are looking at the Major League Baseball app and saying, "Well, we're going to do that." I know NBA is going to do a similar app. Uh, this is a great idea for a, a, a franchise or for a league mm -hmm. uh, to really capture uh, your, your 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 touches. Exactly. So yeah. So there's video. There's there's it's very multimedia experience. It's laid out nicely. And again, if you've got favorite teams, they obviously don't have to be concentrated in one city. That's just the way that I do it. You can add it to my teams, um, and then you can pick your favorite sports. You know, if you hate basketball, which I kind of do. Uh, basketball is just not really my thing. I can filter that out and so on and so forth. That's nice. But again, if if you're an ESPN person, you like the personalities that are on ESPN, you like the writing style, if you're going to the website a lot, and this is an essential app because it's free. Yeah. Um, another app that uh, that I like a lot, it's not free, but it's only a dollar, it's 99 cents, is Ballpark Envy, which is a iPhone app, but it works really well on the iPad Look at because that. It actually it's basically looks great. just a bunch of photos. Yeah, so this is the Pirates uh, part? It is. You yeah. knew that already. Oh, yeah. You saw it. No, yeah, I did. Yeah, you saw it. Now, the, the reason that I wanted to show the Pirates park is because, um, again, Wi-Fi is being kind of wonky with us right now. But when I was doing a little research on, on Ballpark Envy, I thought, uh, iPhone apps, I usually stay away from those if they're not optimized for the iPad. This one looks really nice. But what it is, is it's got all of the Major League Baseball stadiums, not only current pictures of the stadiums, but sometimes what the old stadiums look like. Um, if you go to Pac Bell or they call it SBC in here, so the, the, you know sometimes they're not totally up to date. They show a picture that I've never seen before, an aerial picture of the stadium being built. This is the Pirate Stadium, which I've never been to, and I had no idea it looked so much like Pac Bell. It does. Well, it say really people does. built it, I think. Is yeah. it? Yeah. That's what I thought, too. P PNC Park, I think, it's is It's new, and it's beautiful, yeah. and, and yeah. you've got the water and the bridge. God, Pirate fans, nice stadium. Um, anyway, so you, you, you basically just get a good sense of what a ballpark looks like, and... You can often, if you're going and you know, maybe seeing your favorite game at a, you know, some away game, if you're in town at a conference or something, I do that every once in a while. You know, I'll go on the w website and I'll try to pick seats based on the little illustration that they show me of the park. But sometimes you just want to get a good photograph of what it looks like up there uh, because it, it just gives you a better sense of, of where you want to be sitting. So this is a great little, little tool, not only for people, uh, not only if you're actually going to a stadium, but if you just... I don't know. Want to look at the history of, of where the Yankees played, for 99 example. Ninety-nine cents too. Yeah, ninety-nine cents, and it's all photography based. So again, even though it's op not optimized for an iPad, I really don't see the difference, except um, in some of the graphic. This next one is it. actually from Major League Baseball as well. Yeah, Fan Direct. Fan Direct. I'm actually. This I, is for Phillies fans. It's apparently. for Phillies fans, and I wanted to mention it because I knew I was going to be kind of anti Philly. Yeah. Because that's just you Do know. Do they it's have one for sport. Giants fans? No, they don't actually have anything. They're 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 trying it out. Oh, at, so this is a, this is a team specific MLB. Well, it's what it is. Is it's a stadium specific oh. MLB because oh, it's an iPhone app though. When when you're at when you're at the game and you want to order some, you know. Chili cheese steak. You can order and chili. You can order with. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. Whoa. So this is what it's. It's a. It's an ordering. Whoa. Um, uh, apparatus. So you order yourself some food. Now, I want to mention this because number one, this is a great idea. Obviously, MLB is doing this. Uh, I don't know why they chose the Phillies stadium, but they did. They're going to see if it's a hit, and then they're probably going to roll it out to stadiums. Yeah. 
And it gets mixed reviews on iTunes. Some fans go, that was awesome. I got all my stuff within, you know, 10 to 13 minutes. So much better than getting up out of my seat and going in and waiting in line and having to watch on the little, on the little monitors above the, um, above the food stand. And some people say uh, the person was walking around, didn't see me. You know, they were, it was a couple rows off. So, again, it's in a testing phase, but I think it's a great idea. And eventually they'll they'll figure out how to hone it down. There's one app I would really like. I used to be, and I'm kind of a nerd, and I have to say at bad has kind of obviated the need for this, but I still like to do it. I used to go when I'd go to the ball game with a score sheet, you oh, know, yeah. and I'd have the pencil, and I'd have the headphones on. I mean, I really was an utter nerd when I'd go to ball games, and I'd score every... But you say that like you don't do that anymore? I still do that. Yeah. So I'd, <laughs> <laughs> I'd score every pitch, every run, every hit, is there, it seems like score sheet application would be great for the iPad. Is there anything like that? Yeah, in fact, it's called iScore. And again, this is this is an ESPN. Uh, Boy, they dominate cre created. Here. I know. It's like, yeah. sometimes it's, it's nice to figure out all of the little apps that the big guys aren't in control of. But in this case. This is who does it. They do sports well. This and now it's not cheap either. This is 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's twice as much as your ML you know, MLB at bat. I would buy every year at the beginning of the year, I'd buy a new score pad. And so those, those cost more than $10. So iScore is, it's annoying because it's optimized for the iPad, yet it's portrait it's mode, portrait mode only. Kind of but this is, so this is like for the fans who go to the game and have the scorecards and insist on listening to the, the radio that's version. Me. That's yeah, you. That's you know, me. You know the people. You're either one of them or you sit next to them in, in your, uh, in your box the, seats. We're the nerds, but we love the stats. This this looks fantastic. This, I'm buying this right now. This is good for, so I've actually added a, a fictional team called the Sluggers, of which I manage. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also the best player on the team. So I, I, I have set up a, a fictional team. Uh, but and so, you can, well, that's important. So you could use this for your own softball league. or little league team as yeah. well. Or, yeah, or yeah, some sort of company yeah. or or whatever. Um, you can not only so this is like you can act as the team manager. Um, you can manage games themselves. You can manage leagues. You can manage wow, certain this players. Is so this is for not just ma the major leaguers, but this is any sort of league or folks you want to follow. It it it's your it's your virtual. This is so score sheet and this. stats, and it's and it's more comprehensive, really, than um, anything that you're going to be able to put together uh, the old way. And you figure, well, uh, it eliminates the need to uh, have scorecards and pencils, and it's all in one place. And then you can email any of this information, yeah, like a via HTML or a or a. Uh, you can export it. Yeah, you can export it in a variety <clears throat> cool. of ways. So if you don't want to keep it on the iPad, you can send it in a variety of it, uh, file options. There are other want. programs that do this. Uh, uh, most of them are iPhone apps. So I think if you want to, if you want an iPad app, it sounds like this is the way that uh, you kind of have to go. Yeah, iScore has been successful as an iPhone app uh, since I don't know. I think sometime last year. So this is their iPad version of it. They're the same price, so you're not actually paying more right. for an iPad optimized version. It's just iPad optimized, and that's iScore by ESP. ESPN. You can get it at iScoreCentral.com. And then, and and by the way, the baseball apps go on and on. They really do. These are the ones that seem the most solid, at least to me. You get with with sports apps. Well, baseball apps are obviously more a niche market, but uh, with sports apps in general, there seem to be a lot of folks putting together crappy apps. Crappy apps. Let's face and it. People let's, being annoyed. Let's call a spade a spade. spade. Do you trust uh, the reviews that you read uh, on iTunes? Well, you feel that they're valuable? I think you get good. It's kind of like reading Yelp reviews. Right. You get good at knowing when someone's just being unreasonable. Right. Or if they have some sort of vendetta against the So you the have to hostess. read between the lines. You have to read between the lines. And I think that, you know, if there are five reviews and two are good and three are bad, that's, that's you, a good you sign. You weight them. A bad sign. Yeah, yeah. You weight them differently than if there right. are 3,000 reviews, right. most of which are, you know, five star. Right. So, yeah, you kind of have to just... So new you get iPad, good at reading app new reviews. iPad owners, you should read the reviews. Yeah, best to read the review for the most recent version. And Apple, that's the de that's the default when you when you go to the reviews uh, on your iPad, you'll see current version, all versions. Read the current version because because you know with new versions that changes. And it's okay to look at this. I always throw out the top and the bottom reviews. Best though to read them because until you've read them. You, you, you know, you, you got to read between the lines. But I think that that's valuable input. Of course, watch this show, and there are other shows, too, that review them. It is. And it's also, when you go to, whether you're in iTunes or you're just looking at the web preview URL. Gosh, my hair is really 
I don't know what happened today. I swear I brushed it. We light you. Uh, <laughs> we actually have special lights. <laughs> To make to bring to, your hair to give up, my flyaway is a little it. something yeah, we special. Do that. uh, that's actually on purpose. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, when you're looking at the iTunes, it's good to see when it was last updated. Look at that date because a lot of the bad reviews may have been before right. a recent update that fixed a lot of problems. So also that's something to take into account too. Right. You can read between the lines, but also give them a break if they've fixed something that 50 Often people already complained about, yep. and it still will skew the overall uh, rating. We do this show live, of course, uh, every uh, every Thursday, Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. That's mm -hmm. uh, 4.30 Eastern. And if I do my math, actually, we got daylight savings time coming up, and that's going to screw this up. Or standard time coming up. Or rather, vice versa. We're turning yeah. off saving, savings time, so that's yeah. going to screw this up. But I believe <laughs> I it's I believe it's 20, 2030. <laughs> UTC. Oh, but you can always download it after the fact by going to the website, iPad Today's website, twit.tv slash IPT. Yes. And if you've got app ideas of your own, because we love your ideas. Because we're lazy. Because we're lazy, but we also want to highlight you front and center. Yeah, yeah. And you can always lazy. email us at iPadToday at twit.tv. Hey, there's a lot to do on this show. <laughs> Managing our fans. Is tough. Managing your expectations is even tougher. <laughs> this portion of iPad today brought to you by somebody who is just uh, one of the best sponsors uh, on this network. They've really uh, supported us. And partly it's because we are such big fans. It's, of course, audible.com, A-U-D-I-B-L-E.com. If you go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today, you could try it free. Get that gold account. That's a book a month. Your first book's free. You can cancel it anytime, and it's yours to keep forever. And I thought this would be very appropriate. This is one of the best books ever written about baseball, The Glory of Their Times, the story of the early days of baseball told by the men who played it. I mean, what better book to listen to than a, a story like this? And, and it's, uh, it's, it's just got a, some great history. But, you know, there's a lot of baseball books. This guy's a nut. He said, I'm going to have this, a little fun with him. See, this should be an audio book. All here's, right. How about your hitting? Can you hit? Here's oh, the, well, the actual people. Uh, narrated by Lawrence Ritter, but uh, it includes some of uh, the greats in baseball. There are many baseball books on audible.com. But uh, there's something about baseball players. They've kind of got. They like to talk. They tell long, good stories, they don't it's, they? The, the anecdotes in baseball are a lot it, of. It, that's the, one of the best of the things story. about it. Is, yeah, is, and then Johnny says to me, <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to throw at that guy, are you? <laughs> audible.com. But I'm telling you, there's 75,000 titles, so you don't. if you don't like baseball, no problem. There's business, classics, fiction, history, kids' books for K through 12 and, 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 uh, and young adults, and I mean everything. Newspapers and magazines even, and old-time radio. Go to audible.com and check it out. And then when you find a book you want from those 75,000, get it free by going to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. Oh, the new Tom Clancy's coming out soon. Oh, that's Dead exciting. It, if you go to the device center, see right there at the top of the page, you can see the devices it plays. Of course, an iPad is one of them. Uh, it plays on devices from all the major manufacturers, including the Zune and the Kindle and uh, Android phones as well. Audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. Get your free audio book today. Wouldn't it be Ooh, nice to it. just kind of like hang out with Tom Clancy and see what how he researches new books. I wonder at this point if he even <laughs> if he even writes them himself. Really? You know who's got, you know who's coming out with a new novel, and I'm sure it'll be on Audible. His last book was on Audible. Is uh, uh, Steve Martin's writing a novel? Oh another yeah. Another novel should be out in a couple of weeks. Good. And uh, you can go back and read and listen to some of his other novels. Uh, oh, I loved Shop Girl. Shop, wasn't Shop Girl great? And it his, was great. His memoir, which is his most recent book, um, a Born Standing Up, is on Audible. I listen to it on Audible. He reads it. And it's fantastic. Uh, so, so if you are, uh, why won't Steve Steve Martin going to come on iPad today, Steve? So, um, I'll ask him. I'm, you're obviously watching. I'll ask him. I, I mean, why, I, why do you say obviously? Well, because he's Steve. He's our best bud. <laughs> he's our best bud. Uh, that's <laughs> why. What, what else would he be doing, I'm, Leo? I'm, I'm kissing his. I'm kissing up to him here yeah. by by recommending his uh, his. And when his new novel comes out, you know, maybe he'll come on then, and and he can he can. You know what was interesting was Steve Martin wrote that book Shop Girl, and then. There was a movie that was made right. where he played the, the shop girl, the, which I thought was really. Well, he didn't play the shop girl. Oh, okay. He played the the shop girl's I'm, I'm being silly. well romantic interest. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm being I'm being a silly. <laughs> he worked on. Uh, yeah. uh, but uh, and that that's was, how you get an Oscar, by the way. It was interesting though by because playing it a was, shop girl, everybody knows that. Because when, when I read the book, even though I knew that he wrote it, you didn't think it he wasn't was the guy. him no. in my imagination. It wasn't bad. It was just it was very interesting. Crossing some sort of... Wait, you could get this for free. What? Well, and I... I here.
This is a shop girl. Oh. Steve Reese. Simon and Schuster Audio presents Shop You know, girl. I'm going to put this whole show on hiatus. We're going to sit back. We're going to listen. Red we're going to relax and listen. No, we're not. Okay, let's move on, All right, shall let's we? move on. So, Leo, since yes. we're on the subject of baseball, yes, we are. I thought that it might be uh, of interest to you and our viewers to talk a little bit about uh, another playoff team, the Tampa Bay Rays. They're out now, so they got some free time. Uh, they, no, they're not out. Oh, yeah. They are? Since oh, when? Yeah. The Rangers beat them. Oh, crap. Well, that's right. Sorry, I'm a couple They're days gone. behind. I'm thinking, They're history. I'm thinking of Giants. So they well, got now, lots of time to play they their have game. even more time to play We Farm. No. Because apparently We Farm is sweeping or has swept. I guess no one's really hanging out in the dugout uh, or the clubhouse at the Tampa Bay Dave, Rays. David Damn Price. It, Tampa TV Bay Rays are out. Darn it. <laughs> Poor Tampa Bay. TBS uh, wants to interview David Price, right? Uh, in fact, a lot of people are waiting for him. But David's got his iPad. And he says, give me 10 seconds. I've got, I got to finish up. Got to farm my broccoli. That's right. He says, big crop. They're crazy for We Farm. Now, there's some We Rule fans. If you read this article, it's very, I'm a we it's rule very fan. weird. So, this, is, this is a Yahoo Sports article that, that came up. or so, Actually, somebody sent it to me. And in fact, Jeff Neiman, who, who pitches, says, we definitely have the iPad addiction, all of us in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. He prefers Angry Birds, by the way. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, we know mm -hmm. how that is. By the way, Mel Clancy and Sean Doe, you guys both sent uh, the same article to me. That's, so that's great minds think like I know it's it's a very weird article. Um, and then of course they go on to uh, you know they they the, the players that like uh, We Farm and and We Rule talk about how much they like it because you've heard Leo talk about it. You know you get I'm a, a little fan. crazy in the head. By the way, wine wine uh, grapes now and We Rule and uh, and a little Chateau Winery if mm -hmm. you if you have a, a an interest. And uh, apparently a couple of the Rays said, you know, we're not into that. It's, it's, uh, and they probably feel that maybe this was, uh, d um. There's pad pressure, though, in the dugout. <laughs> There's pad pressure. There's pad pressure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> They've g given in to pad pressure. Oh, yeah. Well, it says, it says. Uh, I it, feel pad pressure. Across the room, and this is in the article, Rocco uh, Baldelli shakes his head. Baldelli, an Apple, Apple sycophant, hasn't taken the iPad plunge. Neither has teammate Ben Zobrist. In the locker next to him, they tried to avoid the Wee Farm clamor throughout the clubhouse. It's impossible. They kind of diss it, and then people start yelling at him. Well, you know why they diss it is because they're saying, Baldelli says, they're spending real money on this. Uh, yeah. Does that sound like a familiar your, conversation your you point, may have had with people? <laughs> your point is? My point is, it's a gambling addiction. All of y'all. There's no gamble. You spend money, you get a farm. It's the same idea. No gambling here. Same idea. Money you're not going to see again for virtual, I don't know what. iPads so, are in the uh, political ads now, I see. iPads are, yeah. So we were talking about politics before the show, yeah. and this particular uh, uh, political ad has nothing to do with what Look we were talking he's a, about. He's got an iPad. Well, it's 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 the the um this is an Indiana political ad. So this is a way of, of producing the ad. They're swiping through exactly. his record. And now I, I I have to believe that this was edited to make it look like an iPad app. I don't think this is actually well, anything the that they put big. together you can on the tell iPad. It's not an iPad because the frame's too big. Look how big the frame is. Oh yeah, is. you're right. That's right. But it's weird because it's like, okay, well this is this you know, this is a campaign made to slam another candidate. So we're all very used Isn't to that. that. Weird? But I've never seen it in iPad form before and you think all right, well, campaign ads are always manipulative. They've spent a lot of time thinking about how to say things just so and how things will look just so. So is it supposed to be that if it's... Because it was about another candidate. No, I'm telling you, this is because the iPad is mainstream now and it, ca it and catches the eye. And it makes you seem kind of cool. And it catches the eye you, because people go, oh, they think, they don't think it's a political ad. They think maybe it's an iPad ad. Maybe there's an app for that. And so they're looking... Oh, I can't say that anymore. You know, Apple trademarked Yeah, that. you better not. I'm going to say it anyway. I don't care. Trademark Apple Computer. Apple. I'm doing a lot of work for you, Apple. Yeah. We I can, can say we there's can an say app for that because there is. Sure. I think that's why they do it in the ads because people watch the ads. They go, oh, it's an iPad ad. Oh, shoot. It's a political ad. Never but I mind. think it's it's almost confusing because it's against the guy that we keep seeing, but the guy is inside the iPad. So if you weren't paying attention, the sound's down. You kind of go like, ooh, iPad. He must be pretty hip. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. You I just might, don't, you might I think just, it was good for him. I don't know if it's working against him the way that the other candidate, you know, who, who obviously put up the money to put this together, uh, wants it to see him. So my, my thought is that's not really a question for iPad today. I guess not. No, we should ask that question uh, on uh, politics today when we do that show. Are we going to do that show? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I am I'm asking not stupid. if an iPad will help sway people. 
to pro or a con, way. good or bad. Good or bad. And if you're in the iPad, even though it's a it's a it's an attack ad, does that make you look better? Because you're know. in, because I'm, because you know, you're I'm in, this in cool the iPad. New thing that people are talking yeah. about, and other people want to look yeah. at. Oh, and I'm touch in. And... Of course, you'd have to be a moron to say, "Oh, he's in the iPad. He must be good." Well, are we going to get into that discussion? Let's not get into Let's that not discussion. Get into discussion. Let's that talk discussion. about a really cheap iPad stand. Accessory of the week, everybody. It's this... like you could make that with a hanger. Yeah. So this was sent in by Kay Fisher, uh, who says this is a book stand. Uh, she found it on buy.com for six bucks. But it works perfectly. It works perfectly for an iPad, and it gives enough because it's made to hold, you know, like a hardcover book that you can not only have it in landscape mode or portrait mode, but you can have it in a case. And, you know, let's say you're charging or something. So it's, so it's a place to have your iPad on a desk or whatever. I mean, this thing is, you know, at first I, she had sent me a couple pictures of her own. And I said, well, what is that, a coat hanger? I mean, would That's what you I said. Not put something yep. together like yep. that? And she says, no, 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 but it's, you know, it's really cheap. So, you know, it's, it's important to remember that as I have like my $60 Dodo case, which I love, that you can have a stand that's a lot, a lot more affordable. Do we know how much the stand I'm using? $5, or the one you're using? Oh, I'm sure that's very expensive. I'm sure it's much more than $5. Yeah. But yeah. again, it's, it's the same idea. I got it's a better really. stand. Look at this. All right. Holly. Yeah. It, Holly's a kitty cat. Holly's the cat. And we um, promised yeah. that if you sent us a picture of a cat with an iPad, we would print it. That we would that we would we run it, it on provided the show. that you tell us the name of the cat. And no, um, I don't think we even have to have that. <laughs> I think so. I, think I can't just say look at cat iPad stand. You know, this is what a cat, it's Holly see, the cat. You're a catist because. Uh, uh, excuse me, but not only are there a cat and an iPad, but there seems to be a human in there. Do I you believe care? the term is meowist. Do you care? Do you care whose tummy that is? No, you don't care. We don't have to name that person. We I, ha we I have it's to name Rebecca. the cat. Rebecca the human. We could be. Might be somebody else. No, it's Rebecca the human because she told me. She said that's her. Yes, that's Rebecca. Okay. And Holly the cat is her cat stand. Okay. You know, you may have re remembered there was a very popular image that went around the internet of Veronica mm. Belmont's cat being the iPad stand. Yes, it's not well, the first cat we've not seen. Not the only cat yeah. stand. Holly the cat also doing a good job. So that's our uh, accessory of the week runner up the cat stand. Last week, Thank Sarah you, asked you, and asked us, asked rhetorically, why would you buy an iPad with 3G and not activate it? Because yeah. I said that only five, according to AT&T, only 500,000 3G iPads have been activated. We got to presume there's many, many millions of 3G iPads out there. That's right. And we kind of went, hmm, I don't know. That's, well, well people answer. have their reasons. Yeah, and it's kind of a duh tip, or it turns into one. This is... Uh, sent in by Rod, who says he's in the UK countryside. Good for you, Rod. Last week, Sarah asked why you'd buy a 3G iPad but not activate it. Well, with a 3G version, you also get the GPS feature, which isn't available otherwise. And the GPS works fine without activation. And so doesn't need, we don't need extra money in order to activate the 3G. Oh, you buy, you you're use... paying 120 bucks more for, for the GPS. Right. I guess that's yeah, makes sense. Yeah, but then you don't have to pay any monthly fee. Don't you find the Wi-Fi location is pretty good? I mean, I, I, I guess if you're in the country, it wouldn't work. But yeah, well, it, it depends on if you're, a, you know, a, a GPS nut. And what not. you're doing with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. If you're orienteering, you need something. Yeah, and if you work. were in the countryside, there might be right. not be good Wi-Fi right. triangulation. Right. Right. So, um, and as Rod says, the only downside is you can't download maps when you're away from Wi-Fi, and that obviously right. is a big part of GPS. Right. Right. Can be, but some apps, uh, apps like Motion X. Which was my HG. my app cap some time ago. This lets you download uh, the maps. Yeah, before you set off onto your journey in the UK countryside right. or uh, or right. uh, maybe a city journey. It's kind of cool. Please I think. use the search or go to page to set a destination. Thank you. Thank you. She has a nice Did voice. Did you just show your address, Leo Laporte? Well, no one would know that if you hadn't said something. Editors, now cut people here. Are, now people are <laughs> rewinding to say what what was that? Sorry. Uh, that's our that, data tip that, for the day. That's that's not where I live. No, no. That's not where I live. Nope. 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 That's nope. that's not true. That's not where I live. So <laughs> so duh. That's why people would buy a 3G model for the GPS. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Rod. To Rod. Speaking of viewers, were we? Um, we got a lot. Of feedback, Leo, about something we talked about last week. So look how Sarah's oriented her iP iPad, just so we don't have to deal with that. The button isn't it on the left or the right; it's on the bottom. So oh. let's go back to how so I usually this is my have, position. have my iPad. You put the button on the left, and I say to you, as I said last week, if the button's on the left, 
your volume control is upside down That's right. and backwards. And so you, you, you gets confusing. The button belongs on the right. And I said to you, why, Leo? I never really thought about it. That just This is just what felt most natural to right. me. And I thought, is it because I'm left-handed? Well, that doesn't make sense because you're left-handed too. And where do I put mine? On the right. But then I thought, well, you know what? The volume... By golly, you must be right. I've just been wrong the whole time. Right. Not so, says right. half of you. Because this, okay, okay, just, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. proof. Okay, which way should I do this switch to turn it up? Uh, I would say to the right. You say this would turn it up? Yeah, because you're going to no, the right. No, that turns it down. See, up is so, always to so the So that's still weird. Oh, so you really, so this would be the justification is. Going it, to the right. If you want to have, okay, so some people... It, the left is a natural. It sounds, sounds like it should be louder and this should be quieter. But you say it's up. So if now you what? did it this way, then in fact you would be right. To to the right would be louder. To the left would be quieter. Right. Although what happens is is that then you've got the kid. So all right. So instead of me just <laughs> let's read the uh, let's go to the mailbag. So yeah, I wanted to highlight some of your feedback. And by the way, okay. I, uh, there's so many of you guys who who flooded our inbox with with um, Hector Hector with your says, own Hector, opinions Hector about Gallego this. says. Sorry, Sarah, the button belongs on the right. Actually, he said, but button on the right, it is like a Yoda or something. Sorry, I think he was trying Sarah, to but button on the right, it is. That was a bad Yoda. Thank what you. was that? I don't know. I it was like it was, a weird a Irish. Le leprechaun Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what that was. Uh, Mike Wagner said, no, no, I agree with Sarah. I'm left-handed. I keep the button on the left-hand side. I don't adjust volume very often, so the orientation of those buttons doesn't matter. To quote Steve... There is no top or bottom. I think they're talking about uh, Steve Jobs. Yeah. Yes. I have to side with Sarah, says Bill Reese. Sorry, Leo, mm -hmm. if that's your real name, because it's it's because, like you both, I'm left-handed, but I have to have my button on the left side. It confuses me when I flip the iPad and it's on the right. Left-handers unite. Then Selwyn Cook says, Sarah is definitely wrong. Yes. My button's on the right. We're supposed to be. Yeah. Though I imagine that the button would end up on the dominant hand, it still makes the volume button awkward. Hmm. So Selwyn. <sighs> James, on the other hand, says, so oh, Sarah's right. If you have the Apple case and use... Now, this this might be compelling argument. Uh-huh. Yep. This is where we if start getting have, into the meat of the thing. If you have the Apple case and you use the iPad in landscape mode with a cover tucked in, you have no choice but to have the home button on the left. So it's got to be the official way since that's the official Apple case. And, you know, it's funny because I have the Marware case and it's exactly the opposite. The button yeah. has to be on the right. You know, and, and TJ Lowerman wrote in and said, listen, Sarah is wrong. However, the, pro the reason that she's wrong and she's confused is because she's got a Dodo case, which I do. Dodo yeah. cases, that's my case of choice. That's the bamboo case. So does like. TJ. Yeah. And he points out, and I never realized that you can only put your, your iPad and your Dodo you case yeah. and have it in landscape mode one right. way. So I was just conditioned from day one to have it on the left. So I may be wrong, but I was forced the, into it. I was forced to be wrong. By the dodo. By the dodo. You should have known by the name. I know. Well, I'm a dodo. Yeah. So and, at least I'm consistent. Well, you know, I think if Mr. Jobs, Mr. Jobs says there is no up, there's no right way. So we're going to have to go with Mr. Jobs on this one. Job says, do what you want, and I agree. Yeah. You orient whichever way feels the best. Boy, we're really, uh, we're really, na you know, namby pambying this one. What's we're, namby pamby in this? We're just, we're not taking a stand here. What? Well, you, I think, I feel like. Well, but the, but but let no, the I'm people not. Decide. I'm not persuaded because uh, the Apple uh, case is oriented that's that the, way. Well, that's, that I think that that's sort that's of persuasive. Darning evidence, isn't it? Because that's their official case. Did you say darning evidence? Well, I didn't want is to that say... so you won't have holes in your socks? iPad today is brought to you by our good friends at Squarespace. You tell them how they can write to us, and I'm going to tell them about Squarespace. Talk. Yes, yes, we want to hear from you. As I mentioned earlier in the show, we want to hear from you, and we read your comments and your feedback, and we'd love to hear from you and see you and see your videos and all that good stuff. So iPad today at twit.tv is the email address. You can also leave us a voicemail. And by the way, you've been leaving us voicemails, and I appreciate it. Try to keep them like 30 seconds. Yeah, or less. Yeah, we're not going to use it if it's really long. Yeah, and some of you guys, you've got you you make great points and you ask good questions. Um, some of it. Is actually kind of tech support, so I try to refer them to the tech guy. But uh, try to keep them 30 seconds or less so that we can play them on the show. The I, could number. Do, I could do one tech support, you, you know, quick so? tech support every Something show. quick? Just, I think we should help people. Well, I do too. Yeah. All right. One one quick one. All right. Well, I'll, I'll float them by you beforehand and yeah, see if yeah, they yeah. can be Something quick I could do it quickly, yeah. The number is 757-504-IPAD. 757 uh, 
five zero four I P A D. That way we really confuse people. <laughs> hey, if you were to go on Jeopardy. Yeah. Oh my and, God, that'd be my dream. Would it be lose. your dream? Oh, I love All right, Jeopardy. Well, let's do a little test. Okay. It's uh, my fave. So, uh, so your opponent says, "I'll take uh, I'll take web services uh, for three hundred, Alex." Well, if you're really on Jeopardy, you go web services three hundred. Okay, web services three hundred, and Alex Trebek says, "The secret behind exceptional websites." What would you say? What is Squarespace? Very good. You'd be absolutely right. It is, in fact, the secret behind exceptional websites. <laughs> Hosting plus great software means it's everything you need for your new site. Even if you have a site. By the way, Squarespace is great for that because they've got these importers that will import from existing sites. So what you do is you go to squarespace.com uh, slash iPad today right now and do the try it for free. And by the way, no credit card or anything, no commitment, nothing. You just uh, name your site, give it a password, your email address, in case you forget the password, enter in the capture. Now your site is going, and you can. That capture is actually. Uh, it's a pretty easy capture. I kind of like the capture. Yeah. yeah. Some captures is so bizarre. I, I mean, I can read that. I yeah. wish they would. I wish that more people would. Anyway, uh, and then import your stuff from your movable type, your WordPress, your TypePad, or any blogger compatible uh, site, which means pretty much anything. All your comments, all your posts will be in there. And now, now the fun comes. You play with these incredible templates. It starts with, uh, you know, a dozen or so. I think 14 really beautiful really professional nice. templates. Yeah. But you're not stuck with what it looks like because you can customize to your little heart's content. You can drag uh, the sliders to change the width of columns. You don't have to know anything. Although, if you do know CSS or JavaScript, it's completely open. You can do anything you want. Uh, I have to say, I just I love the design. I love the look. I love the feel. And I love it that Squarespace never goes down. You can you can have you can have a big day where slash dot dig and twit all mention your site and boy you're going to be flying high because Squarespace just doesn't go down. Mm -hmm. Prices start at twelve dollars a month, but if you use the offer code iPad today and sign up for your new site, you'll save ten percent not just for one month or a year, but for the rest of the life of your site. Ten percent off Squarespace dot com slash iPad today. I, I'm a big Squarespace fan. Uh, we use it for our blog, which, by the way, thank you, Eileen, for reinvigorating our blog. In, starting, what is it, Inside Twit? Inside.twit.tv. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, that's a Squarespace uh, blog. Uh, in fact, I think they even have it on their examples page. Look at this. I mean, the examples are great. Sarah Lane's blog is on there, too. It is. And, in fact, I use uh, on my iPad, I have push notifications on for Squarespace. So anytime I get a new comment, really? I can address it or, or so, delete it if it's mean or whatever. That's that great yeah, Squarespace it's, app. It's an it iPhone is. app, but I think it's it works an iPhone just app, fine um, And I, I, I know, you know, they're working on an iPad version, but, um, that's cool. but it works so you really see well. The comments come in. You can, you can moderate the comments. I can moderate the comments. You can even post from it. I can post. I can, I can do, you know, it's, it's not... Um, it has it has pretty much any feature that you would need on the go, I love um, it. and I I love it. I love it. Squarespace are huge for me. dot com. Use iPad today as the offer code and save ten percent off the life of your site. Thank you, Squarespace. A tip of the uh, app cap. Tip of the cap. Yeah. Speaking of caps, did you bring those baseball caps? Look on the other side of oh, your of Leo. your com of your computer there. You know, it's I funny. want you to wear this one. This is this yeah. well. No, that's more girly. It is. Yeah, I'm gonna put my app cap on because what? it's what? baseball time. What about we've got our we've got our our baseball app caps instead of the fezes today. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, see, it's you can have that. Ball. I give that to you. It's yours, baby. My cup. Although I have to thank the folks at Fezorama. Did you see they sent us many more fezes? Yay! All sorts. I saw. I saw. It was like the Tower of Fez yeah, that and, you posted to Instagram the other day. Yeah, I did. <laughs> there's fezes in all sizes. So uh, you know, if if you want to uh, wear one, uh, a smaller one than the one I was giving you, you can. Okay. You're not stuck. But meanwhile, today... I, I like the fezes. Now, I'm excited about my be... app cap. Let me see if it's working, though, because okay. this is the one where I kind of brought our network to its knees. Mm -hmm. um, do, do you you know about um, iFi, don't you? I know about iFi. That let is me, where... The, let me show you what you iFi. You can... Um, it's, you... A, it's an SD card with Wi-Fi built into it. I mean, it, 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 there's no antenna or anything. It's the same size as a normal SD card, but you put it in your camera... You could figure it with the iFi manager online. Mm -hmm. You put it in your camera, and if it sees a hot spot, you can configure it that way. Or here, I've set it up to look for our Wi-Fi here at the uh, studio. And when you take a picture, it saves to the SD card. This is the special uh, new iFi Pro X2, which is an eight gigabyte card. It saves to the card and then uploads it 
to the to your the site of your choice or just to your computer. So I thought, oh, this is exciting. Look, I can put this into my camera, and this is a new application. It's okay. a little expensive. It's eight dollars. It's called Shutter Snitch. Don't you like that name, Shutter Snitch? Uh, it, it's snitching on your shutter because you get to share it with. Well, the idea your is, but I have to be. I have to give you the little yeah. caveat here. Is give me the, caveat. the idea is you set up Shutter Snitch on your. Uh, iPad. You use the same Wi-Fi uh, access point as you're using. Uh, you set up your you set up your iFi account. Use the same uh, hotspot. See, there's my Pro X2. I can say which of the cards I'm using. Mm -hmm. um, you set up your hotspot, and if you're on the same account, when you take the picture, in theory, <laughs> that's the problem I'm having right now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think we're on the same hotspot. In well, theory, it will upload. The picture right to the iPad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you had the lens cap on. You're such a noob. <laughs> You're mean. I'm sorry. You're I mean, am. I mean, am. I'm a bully. bully. I'm a baseball bully. You're a five foot one bully. That's right. So in theory now, it would go here, and it's not yet. I don't know. I'll keep playing with it. But I, I, you know, I was going to make this my app cap, so I, I'm, I'm not going to make it my app cap. But, but it's worth looking at, and I'll see if I can get it working. Fortunately, there's something so great, so wonderful. Wait a second. What? You're what? What are what? you doing? This is called cut the rope. You've seen this. I know what it's called. That's my app cap. What? That's my app cap. No, it can't be your. This came out last week. Step off. And we both agree this is this the is app the best. you must have. It's the. It's got a monster named Omnom. How can you not want this game? <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn up the sound so uh, so you can hear it here, and we'll play cut the rope. This is a physics game. Very much like uh, Angry Birds or um, how far have you gotten? See, it, oh, it, I'm on. Um, I'm on the. Um, I can get to the fuzzy box because I've I've uh, gotten oh, over thirty really, stars. You're you're really good at this. Yeah, I'm, so I'm really freaking. Would you good describe at this. how you play this game here? So what you're doing is uh, we let's show the monster. So that little guy down in the bottom is Om Nom. He's the monster. Mm -hmm. But it's not clear why he's your pet, but he is. And you're cutting ropes in order mm -hmm. to get the candy down to the monster without the candy hitting those. Um, Diamond type things. Ah, ah. Oh, oh no. I no, failed. Now I you're screwed. It. I you're missed screwed, it. Leo. See, I can cut it here and I'm not going to eat it. Oh, wait a minute. You can't because oh, you killed man. it. So what you've got to do is you've got to cleverly. And by the way, we're this is on somewhat. Um, oh, I blew it again. Wait, no, it might come Maybe. over. Come on, come, come on. Over. Oh. This so, is a somewhat advanced level. It starts a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what's nice about this? Unlike Angry Birds, it starts pretty easy. Yeah, oh no, it's it's actually really easy. In fact, I thought, well, this is kind of silly. It gets hard very quickly. I will go to a, a, an earlier level. Um, so, so you want to watch out for these things. This is not an earlier level. This is tough. What? You, you just go like gotta, this. You're right. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. Okay, and, fine. And you get so points for all the stars you get and for how fast you do it. Right. So, but this is the this is where it gets tricky. There's other things, other obstacles in here. Let's go. Should we go back to the uh, the fuzzy box? You, are you all the way up to the foil box? No, I'm on fabric rocks. Yeah, fabric I'm rocks. Not, I'm yeah. not that yeah. far. I'm not even very I say far. I'm good because I'm usually just really bad at these games. I'm not that good. I'm so would average. you explain uh, how I can solve this one? Because it's got these puffers. Okay, so the puffers puff air. So you get, you get a good swing going, right? So what you want to do is... <laughs> Wait a minute, just listen. <laughs> I know it's so great. It's so fun. It's so, just ridiculous. The whole thing's ridiculous. So what you know, what you know is, yeah, you got to cut one. Well, oh you, man. The, what's nice about cut the rope is that there's a lot of trial and error, obviously, because you cut one of the ropes and then you see how it falls and then you try to figure out. No, 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 no. No, you got, you've got to, you've got to use some air to puff it up and then cut one of the ropes when it's on the oh. downswing. Oh. You're so close. It's it's really can be a frustrating game, but you know it's really fun. It also you you can try a level as many times as you want. So if you're someone like me who gets super super annoyed by being, I saw Dana playing this with her whole family. Oh. Why won't Why won't you feed Omnom? I want to feed Omnom. I'm trying to feed Omnom. Eat him. I was watching a movie last night. So here's night. what you have to do. I know what you have to do. I know what I have to do too, but I just have to. I don't do know it if without you know what you have to do. I kind of cut the short rope All when right. it's over here, right? All right. Okay. Well. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Wait. All the way Eat back. Eat it, Nom Nom. Get it. Yay. Yay. Okay. See, I think this we're so embarrassing. I'm a little. I'm embarrassed by how much I like this. You game. know, actually, I'm going to be honest with you. So Ken just came in. I've gotten and a lot is farther. Is bragging because I've he's gotten a got lot the farther on this game. 
I don't even know what to do. Oh, there's bubbles. I forgot to say, if yeah. you have a bubble, it'll rise, and then you could pop then it, it'll pop drop. And you pop the bubble, and it goes down. And then you're done. And then you don't feed Where, on. how far have you gotten, Ken? Let's really let's far. go back to the main Please menu. Ken. Don't you like it that they tape up the box? Overachiever. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh. So he's already, he's gone f- past foil he's box. He's got foil box and gift He's box already open? gift box. They say new levels are coming Ken, soon. Ken's, Ken has opened every single level. No, but he's not three stars on all of them. So he says, check out the foil box. All right. So he's all box. three stars there. You know Tom Merritt's going to kill us, right? Why? Because... Is it time for Tech News today? Yeah, well... And we're trying to fly to Vegas. I know. We're never going to make it. Yeah, well... Screw him! Yeah. I'm paying. Cut the rope. <laughs> hey, that's our app cap. We're, it's a joint app cap. <laughs> this is like Screw laughing. Him. This is like laughing. Tom just popped his head through a little door in the, in the room. Tom right? just popped his head in with a furrowed brow like, what? Uh, what did you say? We're so glad you watch iPad today. Thank you for being here. I hope you got some great ideas. This for was fun. Yeah. Um, what should people do if they want to give us some ideas? Uh, remember, you can write us at iPad Today at twit.tv. That is the idea place. But you can also watch the show, watch uh, past shows, subscribe to future shows. Everything is at twit.tv slash IPT. And we love uh, hearing from you. And we love the fact that you watch us. You can also watch us on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash twit. Got a little playlist there. Uh, any way you want. You can listen to us. If you don't like the video, we don't want to leave out our audio subscribers. So you can always listen. And we'll always do our best to make sure that you're not left out, even if you can't see what we're doing. Cut the rope. Probably not really fun via audio, but... <laughs> Try it. You'll Whatever. Like it. I'm Leo Laporte. I'm Sarah Lane. And thanks for joining us on iPad today. Bye-bye. Oh!